and we are off. So, we are finally back again with the Oracle of Seasons randomizer race. We are playing standard race settings, being normal mode, randomized dungeons, random portals, and crossovers. And Mashi is alongside me in the race today. So, good luck. And we're starting off with Double Winter. Octorok, can you not do that? I would greatly appreciate it. Oop, now I'm just being bad. If only I could pit walk all the way through that. So starting with the key. First true item, we get the sword. There we go. Wow. That's a heap of useless. I know one place that'll be handy, but this seed is not that place. Ooh, I should have this be winter or autumn. Specifically autumn, though. Just in case I get a bracelet. Because at least if I get a bracelet, then I open up. The main chest here. Flippers. So not what I wanted to see, but it's still progression. We do the two checks here. I hope I didn't gen a winter seed by accident. Because we've got three winters in a row. Now the slingshot is good. Because that means I can now get seeds. As well as my rupees. Unfortunately, the ring is useless, but there's our spring. If I'm going to do this, I should do it right. I'm going to go ahead and get the 300. I 
I rarely go for this rupee set here. But if I'm going to do this, I might as well get Blaino out of the way as well. Farming rupees is never in logic if you don't have means to easily just access rupees, like in this case. It can be with the shovel, but that's hard logic. And that's only because there's a manipulation for it. Logic would have had wanting to go all the way back. That probably would have still been faster, ironically. And the good part about doing it this way is that it get Blano out of the way as well. Perfect, we got Gale Seeds. Useless. The good part is, I now know I can get my bombs now. And I can get a shield if I need to, and then I head to the suburbs. A lot of Ember Seed drops here. And I realized I never marked off Spool Swamp Season. Um, yeah, that's right. I was wondering why I was changing the season. But I remembered. Is that Ember Seed down there vanilla? Which one? Oh, it's the Troll Rupee. With the guy giving you a Ember Seeds? Yes, that is vanilla. And that is the case with all of the... All of the old men, even the ones that rob your rupees. And I do know I have to mark off bombs and shield. Okay, game, please, give me the member's card. Because I've already broken two of the thresholds. Actually, three of the five thresholds. So the thresholds are 200, 300, 500, 600, and 800. And I'm very close to being able to break 
the 600. And the fact that I have spring here means I can go up to Sunken City. But I want information first. And I will gladly take Destroy the Temple. As long as I don't choke it. Momentary disconnect. We have scent seeds. And vanility too. Ooh. There's the bracelet. So we have two of the four items. There's the Master Black. So we're already at three of the four items. I'm going to just do this now. right now. Whoops. That's a brain fart. There we go. Now I want to go back. This has to be a key. Okay, why am I using bombs? Yep, there we go. So I just need to find the boss key and I'm good to go. Definitely be good to see the boss key right here. Do I have enough bombs? Yes, I do. Now I can go right to the boss. And I don't need to get anything else here. It's a good thing when you find all four items very early on.
because that makes the rest of this dungeon so much easier. That because uh, I'm missing your things like map and compass. Wow, that was terrible. Luckily, Facade bailed me out. Compass. So, peace out, D2. What's your pattern, Maple? Not the one I want. Another spring. So apparently this is the winter and spring seed. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. There's our mystery seeds. Just needed one bomb drop. And the good part is because I have the master plaque, I can get that out of the way too. Power Ring 3. I'll probably regret having it equipped, but who knows. Maybe the ability to do 5 damage is going to be so worth it right now. Rod of Summer. And 10 rupees. Oops, where am I going? So because I have Summer now, I can not only get this out of the way,
Rock Spring does not do anything for me. Now I actually have a good idea. So here's what I'm going to do. There goes a heart and a half. <laughs> Just like that. But my thought is... I can open this up in case I need this shortcut. Then... Uh, you missed a very good D2. And I'm going to do a big brain maneuver. So I need Autumn here. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, just give me Autumn. There we go. What I can do... is I can open this up now. I can also do Black Beast. Ring Ring 2. I'll do Black Beast now as well. Because this way then if I find something huge... I know I've got it out of the way. Red Joy. What items did they never do an upgrade for? Uh, shovel, magnet gloves. There technically is an upgrade with bombs. You just don't generally get it. The seed shooter doesn't have an upgrade. Uh, Kane doesn't have an upgrade. Or technically doesn't have an upgrade, but does that really need an upgrade? No. Uh, yeah. I suppose that's one of the other items you missed. I also got power rate level 3. So, that's why my sword slashes are dealing much more damage. Good, we don't need Moosh. And because now I have Spring, I could just do this instead. There's our feather. Came at very good timing, too, since I'm already up here. And there's our first boomerang. Uh, 
then I'll get this, just in case I get all three heart pieces. This is the best part about having spring here, naturally. You just skip so much. I am taking that cane with me. And we got more bombs, so we don't care. So, mark off the cane now. And we found the dungeon. Oh boy. This isn't the dungeon I really wanted to see right now. Back. This is the problem with not keeping your eye on things. Seven is cool, but it is absolutely not the one I really wanted to see. Especially because I don't have gloves. There. Okay. I can't really afford to be taking damage here. See, the thing with Aegis D7, though, is that Aegis D7 is amazing in a randomizer. So I'm expecting at least one key. Yep. Ah, this is awkward. Okay, now's a good chance. Perfect, bomb refill. Not in logic, but we'll take it. Because here's the thing I can do a decent amount in here. Set seven damage, twelve. So now I can do this. Yeah, post skip one can be annoying to do. Post skip two isn't too difficult, but it really does depend on the items you have.
Shame I can't get Pegasus seeds right here. Wow. That was terrible. can do a part of this, but not all of it. Like, I can open the bridge, but that's as far as I can go. Not unless this is the cape, of course. And just to make sure I don't take damage. Yeah. That's as far as I can go. Because even though I can technically open the bridge further down, I can't do anything further there. not get a chance the other section. There's no reason for me to make an unforced error. Now, even though this is out of logic, this is at least faster to do. And if I don't do it now, it's notoriously forgettable. <sighs> I know this is possible to do. It's just a matter of me actually getting it. just to prevent myself from taking another half heart. Yeah, maybe I should have just taken it out, but... Oh well. You know, the only thing to note is that that's out of logic, so... That's what I get for keeping Power Ring level 3 equipped. Well, not gonna make that mistake again. Now, the good thing here is that I have a lot of options. Because I have Summer. That's the only real drawback with keeping Power Ring 3 equipped. It adds a full heart of damage any time you take damage. Any time you take damage that isn't self-inflicted, that is.
Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Set a save point. Awesome, can you not do that? this now. Now please, game, just give me a member's card already. I'd appreciate that very heavily. Now if this ends up being nothing, I can just soft reset immediately. Just like that. I know I have the Sabrosia portal to do as well. But I might as well get this out of the way first. After all, I'm not concerned about ore chunks, because I have the shovel. And... Pegs are locked behind Tarn. Autumn. So good, I don't have to worry about missing autumn. So that seems to happen a lot with my seeds. And this means I can do autumn cave now. make sure that I didn't mess this up. Darn it. Darn it, game. Why do you have to troll me like that? At least now I can do a Sabrosia portal. And really, I could do multiple Sabrosia portals. But I'm going to start with this one. And then I'm going to dip because that's just crap. It's alright, though. Cause like I said, I have this full swamp portal as well.
What am I doing? I need autumn here, not... Not summer. Back at it with trolling me. But I have a dungeon as well, so... Surely, that is progression, right? And then he says it has... He gets four more gashes suits. Okay, good. then. I guess this game's saying, hey Lotus, equip the red ring, you dolt. I was going to say, if that wasn't anything, then I would be pretty salty. Well, now I get to go right back in there and hope I get more stuff. And this time around, there's only four items to look for instead of five. That compass is actually valuable. Imagine if member's card is blocked. Oh, please, no. Oops. There we go. There's progression. Now there's three items left. That makes two items left. So the ideal case is that Mini Boss has the map. That would be the most ideal case. I'm hoping that these next two chests are both items, because then I could just dip. So far, so good. Seed top off. Because I know I can get ember seeds from here. There. Now. Hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, gameplay speaking, I know why, but I don't know why the Maku Tree in Ages gives you the uh, satchel. I mean, like, you'd think it would be the graveyard key, right? No, nope. <laughs> a stone thing is a bridge. Yep, it is. Alright, so this has got to get me somewhere, right? Yep. Now, <laughs> the good part about finding this is the fact that I have so many options with it. Only real thing I wish I had that I don't right now is the ribbon. No, I'm gonna keep that. I wouldn't normally keep it, but because I've already intentionally gotten two of the two standing heart pieces, there's still two shuffled heart pieces remaining. So there's no reason for me to not keep it. good part of what makes this easier than the Goran dancing is the fact that it's just three at a time. The key part, though, is that you don't want to trip yourself up, because I have... <laughs> I've done that. As much as how much I want to go to the other spot right now, I want information. And I can get Pegasus Seeds this way as well. Lower Temple. And now I'll get myself some out of lodge eggs. And there's our Rusty Belt. Okay. So, if I'm gonna need to do Hide and Seek, then it's gonna be to turn in the bell. First things first. It's time to clear this out. Switch up. That could be something.
bomb to bring. Can you get to D7 entrance with the switch hook if you miss Summer? No. Because the rocks that you'd have to push in the other area are only pushable. You can't switch with them. And there's no pots in the room. What I'd appreciate seeing right now is the satchel. Oops. So yeah, I think now will be the time that I have to do. Hide and seek. It's par for the course of what you do, of what you should expect. I suppose if you could be technical, there is something else I could do before doing so. But do I really want to go all the way out for it? Not really. Because I can do mob and keep. Yeah, the skip that I know for hide and seek requires you strictly having Pegasus Seeds. The issue is that Moblin Keep just takes forever. Yes, I could have ex accessed it with the... Uh, I could have accessed it from Sunken City. But the problem is, if that ends up not being anything, then I'll have just wasted my time. So it wasn't that I forgot. It's just that it's too annoyingly out of the way. Did they mod the waiting time out here? It just required you to go through all the screens in order. Hmm. Kinda does lose some of the feel though. Another question will actually arise directly now that Hide and Seek is done. Could there have been a chance that it could have been avoided?
I wouldn't necessarily say after Moblin Keep. I would say if I end up entering Go Mode without Moblin. The Dragon Key is a good thing to get, because that actually opens up the dungeon. But the question that, come to, that comes to my mind is... Where does this portal lead? Because if it's Upper Temple, then there was basically no avoiding it. But if it's the other spot, yeah, it was Upper Temple. What season was Temple Remains? Never did actually find out, and never will. Yes. Oh wait, uh, no, the Temple was Autumn. The temple of Seasons was Autumn. I remember I'd found Lower Temple. So, yeah. But it's because Temple... Temple Remains was... It's because Upper Temple Remains was... at the Pirate's Portal, that there was basically no avoiding it. Especially if I find the cape here. And right now, I'm still without a satchel. So, my hope is that this is D3. And you know I completely forgot to mark off the feather this whole time? Five is all right. It's just doesn't got a lot of items, and I can't do that chest. Come on, Iron Mask, thank you. part is I won't need to do the one section. Will I do basement without gloves? Yes. At the very least, assuming you're meaning the one that is long way around. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Oh, come on, Iron Mask. Can you not do that? to go down. There we go. Was that required in Plando? Yes. In terms of basement, I can only assume that you're referring to the basement I'm about to do, and not the boss key one. So I can only assume you're referring to this one. And if not, well, then it will depend. Oh. 
Okay, P hat, can you stay out of the way? What? That moment when you accidentally hit your speed up. At least I did it while I was paused. Just to make sure. That means, at most, I need four of the five keys here. Even if you don't have the shield, it's still very straightforward to do. You just need the time jumps instead. Thought you needed the gloves to do it? No. Top bottom, top bottom. Hyper slingshot. But that's as far as I can go, so. Oh, I better not forget to mark off. That boss key. And that does mean I know where the other two keys are. And I only need to grab one of them. So it's just a matter of deciding which one. Which, needless to say, will not be a hard decision to make. Alright, so... I don't have a satchel still, so... While the mountain is correct on where to go, it's not the only place. And second thought, I don't know why I did that. That was just a needless time bleed. So there's two items here. And that solidifies that this place was required.
Not at one. Wasn't at two, it was at three, though. Even more required. Sad we never got to see Ambi meeting the captain again. That's not actually 100% true. It is true in the normal story, but in linked seasons, they do meet again. And it's after you turn the bell in. So I'm probably going to regret going to Gnarl Dungeon first. But, it's closer, and that's going to be my defense. And D4 is alright, because it's fully clearable. So we're at two so far keys. The real question is, where are the items going to be? down that way. But I'm needing to know how many items it will to get. Well, that's four keys. Still haven't needed to use any pegs, so I'm good. 
there. That's one item. And the ideal case is that I find one more item before the mini boss. Because I will always find all five keys. If the dungeon's fully clearable, you'll always find all five keys before the mini boss. That was a terrible jump. Max Rupees, still no membership. Yep. Oh dear. Whew. Saved it. Alright. <laughs> when in doubt, I'm just gonna buffer it. Alright, there we go. So there's the final key. Perfect. So now I'm guaranteed to say to save one key. Because all that's left is map compass and one item. Now this is actually one case where this is better. Because that can happen. That's not possible with the red ring. Not unless you have the Noble Sword. Oh, actually, I suppose it is possible. Yeah, because... That's right, Spin Slashes is times two as well. So, no, it is possible. But it's not possible, though. if you can't deal at least seven damage per per swing. I took the guaranteed as the first option. So 
now I'll take the option that takes slightly longer. At the very least, I have the switch hook. Perfect. That's why you don't leave an item in the dungeon. I forgot to mark that off, too. Now I'd get these three out of the way. Afterwards, it's off to it's off to Dragon Key entrance. Now, as much as how much I love to go, as much as how much I'd love to go back to D five, that's just not efficient with time. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. But at the very least, I can take solace in the fact that coming here was necessary. Although the Seed Shooter was not what I wanted to see with seeds. Just because this is right here. And because I still don't have pegs with the satchel, I still can't clear the seven. Giving us the seed shooter. What's it trying to tell us? It's trying to tell me if this holiday season is going to troll me. Well, this time around, I'm not forgetting Moplin Key. The moment of truth. Was hide and seek mandatory? Fun that you can blow up the Moblin's house afterwards. That's true, but if you try to do it three times, then the Moblin King will actually lock you in the house and it'll kill you. That's what it'll say is eye for an eye.
Wow, that didn't count. There we go. Nope, so we didn't need it. And the fourth jewel, though, is inside the D3 entrance, whatever that ends up being. So yeah. And what that says is that it was mandatory. items left in D5? There is one. But it could be behind crappy flames. So. So even though I know I can get that essence... There's no point in getting it right now. So I'm hoping that this reveals D3. If this reveals D3, then that would be very helpful. Because that has five items in it. D6 would be handy as well, but I can't clear D6 in one shot. D8, on the other hand, is just terrible. Although I at least can get a few checks here. So ideally, I find something handy before just dipping out of here. Boss key is okay. But three keys, on the other hand, is not here. That actually is as far as I can go. I can't even go to the basement. Hmm. Do I really want to do D7, even though I know there's only one check available? Yeah. So who knows? I'm already here. I might as well. And the only reason it's possible is because one room has a magnet gloves thing. And I 
I don't mean this room. It's this room. This is the only thing I can do in here. Of course, it's the one item I need. Well, there's at least good news with that. It does mean that I can now finish this dungeon. Without cape, yep. Because I have everything I need. Just start by unlocking that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I just need to accomplish the dumb jump, is all. Ow, that hurt. That was close. In fact, I don't even need to do the dumb jump because I have switch up. That said, I'm going to do this first, just to get a berry. Just in case things go south here. Because of the switch hook, I'm able to skip the dumb jump. Sorry, Ricky, you're useless now. One item left. Hmm. 
So that means... If the item is in logic, because everything I've done is in logic. I'm not going to go back there. I know for sure I can skip it this time. Because that's out of logic. So I can solidly say, bye bye, D7. The only reason I have to come back there. The only reason I would have to go back there is if I needed to suddenly change things up. Let's see, what's the reason I did that I did this? Now that I think about it, even though it's out of logic, I could go and finish D8 now. I just need to be creative is all. The only real thing I don't need that I can't mess up is the basement. For sure I can't do HSS skip. Eh, just curious. but I don't need Magic Boomerang to finish this. Yeah, the only real issue is that doing... Doing K plus D8 is pretty difficult. And I absolutely need to have full health with this. With only 8 hearts, I need all the health I can get. First jump should be easy enough. The only real thing that's going to hold me back... ...are the keys. Okay. One jump down, three to go. That's just a terrible spot. Talk about running out at in an opportune moment. Alright, one. Two. Three and four. Terry outage. Okay. 
All right. As much as how much I want to just go right to the mini boss, I can't do that. I know I've already messed up the silent watch, so if I'm gonna do it again, might as well make it a true silent watch. What triggers that guy to move? Uh, it's waiting a certain period of time without attacking anything. Oops. That's not feather, that's gloves. So yeah, I think it's like five or so seconds. Maybe a bit longer than that, but you get the idea. It's just don't attack anything. Four keys. Yeah, they made some good rotators. Five keys. I'm sure I'm not. I wouldn't be in any danger. Last thing I want is a sudden death to fry polar. Because then I'd have to do all the basement again. And that's not fun. Being able to do that is just a good feeling. Yeah, the icy section here can be tricky to navigate. And I mean the basement icy section, not here. This area is quite straightforward. 
in comparison. This one, on the other hand, is very tricky. Second try. Wow, that actually went very smoothly. So is this the seventh key? Yes, it is. So it was not skippable. Got the good pattern. Oh, there's the member card. Although, if you want to be technical, that stuff is out of logic. Might be in logic. Might, though, is the keyword. Time to go shopping? No, it is not. I didn't do this one first. Nope, I did. Lure is crap at this point. Unless it proves to be somehow mandatory. Star Ore is for sure crap.
and I'm not dealing with that blue wisp rope. Hopefully that counted as a kill. Very easy fight. And the cup is that I don't. So it'll be bittersweet if I find the floodgate key there. Because it would mean that the cape is somewhere else. And that's somewhere else I'd have access to. But yes, it is indeed a time to see this. But I'm expecting this will be nothing. And of course I'm wrong. So, yep, that tells me that the cape is somewhere else. that place would be is another matter. Yeah, true. It is something. I'm going to laugh if the cape proves to be in here. And something to keep in mind. I already know that the last two checks that are before the mini-boss here are both keys, because I only ever picked up three here, and there's five total. Cape and what is behind D7? That would not be the case, because that area is logically required by the cape. You're not meant to do the buttons without a... I already have enough help. What am I talking about? So yeah, I'm going to check Crappy Flames first. This isn't logic now that I have what I need. So if I had to guess the location for the cape, it would be in here. And that would definitely make everything else in logic. What 
am I doing? Like I thought. So this does mean now that there is the potential of me having to go back into D7. But that doesn't mean I'm going to go back to D7 right now. I've got other options. It would be the ultimate irony if I have to go back there again. But no, I'm going to check here first. Because all I need to be in go mode is the... really is the plugging key. Because yeah, I do need the Pyramid Jewel. Oh yeah, I suppose I need the... I suppose I need the Magic Boomerang as well. But now that I have the cape, I could do this. I win both leap and thanks for the good luck. Okay, so it's not there. This leaves the possible irony of D7. In which case then, yeah, I would have regretted not just doing it flat out. Because, yeah, I could have done that with the feather. The issue with it, like I said, was the fact that it was not in logic prior to me getting the cape. Because the three set buttons, yes, you can avoid pressing them with the feather by simply jumping on the edge, but that's hard logic. Obviously, the situation changes now that I have the cape. And if this proves to be wrong, well, then I at least have backup options. Time to figure it out. I'm hoping to find here is the floodgate key. The floodgate key or the magic boomerang? Nope. So, it's somewhere in Sabrosha. But, 
with that said, I've got some quick options. what I got. I'm going to start with the bomb flower, just in case I have to go to the autumn tower. red ore chest. There we go. With that said, though, I'm not done checking things here. chest. I'm going to check the autumn tower. There's no reason for me not to, just because I'm already here. And the last thing I want is Magic Boomerang being here. And then suddenly I'd be missing a potential go mode. Because even if this isn't it, I'm at least going to be able to go right back to a portal, more or less. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm going to go without that. It's being much closer to this portal outweighs the benefit of just of the other thing. And I know for sure that I'm gonna find the jewel here. mark those off right now. What if Boomerang is behind oars? Uh, I already saved... What I did there was I saved Scum... I saved Scum after... I saved Scum after using the bomb flower to open up Autumn Tower. So, those guys, they're in the furnaces right now. And besides, right now, 
I'm still looking for red ore to even get the furnaces open. But I already know the jewel is in here, so I've got more options going this way. Even though I can't finish D6 right now, unless I find the magic boomerang in here. And of course, if I do, then I'm in go mode. I suppose I do technically have a couple other options that it could be. But again, these are faster because I have to do this anyways. Whereas the others aren't necessarily there. Now the only potential key I'll find this way is the boss key. Speaking of which... Whoa. I lost my speed. Vanilla 10 bombs. the fourth jewel. So, what do we have here? Compass. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to chance this potentially being a magic boomerang. Because it can be. But if it's not, then I could just dip. And if it's the key, then I'll grab it anyways. So then I can just use the shortcut. It is time to head to what will be D3.
And now I've got seven items going this way. There's two on the way to the dungeon, and then five in D3. That's right, I have the mermaid suit now. I figured I could just hope for a Pegasus Seed drop. stuck on pegs. More bombs. But I will take that because I was getting low on them. DLC drops. What happens? I can full clear this dungeon. Wow, I didn't think he was going to make me fall back quickly. There we go. Much better. And I'm hoping that I get at least one key this way. Because that way then I can do the mimic the mimic room during my second go around.
You know, I will take that. I can actually make use of that. Even though that wasn't anything. I've got four more quick checks that I can now do. And the boss key. And I don't need to worry about my health because I'll just get a fairy drop. There's Red Boar. So if I don't find the magic boomerang, I've got another option. Uh, do I have the compass? Don't think so. Yeah. Didn't think so. Precisely one item available. Here we go. All right, so we lost the fifty fifty. So we just have to go back in. Either way, it's quick enough. Uh, Mothula actually has less. Boss having more HP than final boss is half correct. Mothula has 30 health, and Fulzor does 12 damage. So. Dragon Onox has 34 health, but that's exclusive to the American release. The Japanese release, he actually has 48 in Phase 3, so it takes 4. Okay. 
Okay. No. The D8 boss in Seasons takes four. It has 48 health. Mothula has 30 health, so that's the reason why Mothula takes through, because it's 12, 24, and normally we go to 36, but there's the magic boomerang. But since it only has 30 health, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but that's why I also opened up Autumn Tower. Because they don't appear there unless you open up Autumn Tower first. I can really have genuine use for the seat shooter. I already have the boss key, so I don't even need to get that chest. And this will let me control. Fire's help easier. Fire, can you not do that? Thank you. Shot. Yay. Uh, 
像对。At the very least, I didn't last location. The magic boom. That was what I was most concerned about. Wow, that went very well. Don't even need to know what the item is. So I should be able to do this in under 2.30. I'd probably say around a 2.28, maybe? Right as it ran out. Talk about troll line elves. This fight with Onyx is going to be a wash. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should probably mark off that last essence. Still got him. Even though I missed the first hit, I still got him. Splits open. But I finished in first place, and that is with a race time of 2 hours 27 minutes and 46 seconds.
Yeah, that was a reasonably tame seed. Definitely was all about finding that darn satchel. Now the question is, what is notable that I did not find in this seed? Well, the furnace was the expected go mode item. would prove to not be necessary. I think just the sheer fact that I have found the uh, four items in D2 so early helped that dungeon along greatly. Yeah, I suppose I could find hard ore too. Let's see, hard ore. Where was it? Uh, Spool Swamp Cave. So, the Winter Cave. I suppose I should also see what that would have given as well. Uh, a whole 10 rupees. So, yeah. 